The PDRA showed up with classes such as Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Extreme Pro Stock at the legendary Darlington Dragway for the Carolina Showdown. This all brought to you by Strutmasters.com on Monday Morning Racer. Eliminations next. <laughs>
104.73 miles an hour. An impressive run on speed for Halsey. That's Hope you enjoyed that action from Pro Nitrous, Mr. Low ET, Tommy Franklin right here. Man, talk to me about that run. I don't know, man. My car's loving this heat right now. Hot racetrack. Yeah. Just getting out there trying to get it put down and make laps. That's all we got to do right now and just uh, go A to B and see what we can do. So we're going to just tiptoe and see what we can do this next round and try to maybe just repeat, maybe pick up one. <laughs> Competition on edge because of Mr. Franklin here. Look, here on Monday Morning Racer, up next, round one from Pro Boost. <laughs> I want you to know after seeing Mark Caruso there hit the wall that he did get out under his own power. He did walk away from this incident. He said that his back was fine, which I was concerned about because of his wreck that he had at Bristol last year there in 2019. But he was fine with his back. His bell was rung just a bit, but they're going to get that car back together and back out at the track as soon as possible. In fact, it's already at the shop and Lee White Hank Jackson, they're working on it right now. So, you'll see the Rod Father once again, soon enough, at the track. Now, back to racing action.
racing fan, Monday morning race, we caught up with Kurt Stedding. Kurt, look, you're the last supercharger guy. How do you feel? I feel good. We're ready to take on these pro chargers. Last guy representing the kind of the old school way of adding power wants to take out these pro chargers. What do you think it's going to take? Conditions ought to be getting better as they go by. I think this next session, you still have to be a little on the conservative side. You know, there could be a little worry out there. A lot of heat in that, a lot of heat in that track right now. All right, look, guys. Up next here on Monday Morning Racer, you're going to be looking at Extreme Pro Stock. So, Bugino, kind of the young lion, and Bonnie Calvo. Close race, 3,000 at the stripe. Uh, I do a little bit of pedaling on that one. Whole shot win feels good for the driver, but time to turn the car around. Awesome, man. Well, look, we'll see you in round two. Round two action up next on Monday Morning Racing. Yeah. 
does win on a hole shot, the record will show. 381.5 beats a 381.3 in Billy. <laughs> to be in the midway look caught up with the guys of AED competition Jeff look man tell me all about AED and why competitors should choose AED 
AED will build you something specifically for your application based on engine specs, fuel type, application, uh, doesn't matter. We take everything into that account and we'll build you something specifically for your, your car. All right, man, look, Jeff, tell me, it's not just drag racing though. What else does AED dip into? AED, at AED, we build something, we do everything, oval track, truck pull, road race, marine. If it needs a Holly style carburetor, we're your guys. Matter of fact, you told me earlier that something to the effect, y'all are the number one Holly modifier? We are the number one Holly modifier in the industry. We buy more bulk parts from them. Uh, we buy the bodies and bowls as bare, unmachined castings. Everything is then machined and specifically tuned, blueprinted and built for your application. Hey guys, look, if you're in motorsports and you've got something that you want to run that's similar to Holly and need it modified, look at the guys at AED. Give Jeff a call. Find them at the Midway. Look it for them online. AED Competition Fuel Systems. <laughs>
wrapped up here at the PDRA Carolina Showdown at the legendary Darlington Dragway. Caught up with the winner of Pro Nitrous, Tommy Franklin. Man, look, let me ask. Can competitors protest the owner? Because they might need to. <laughs> sure, man. We're all legal over here. Come on, bring it. <laughs> look, talk to me about your day because you had another dominating performance out here. I mean, wasn't it like low ET every round? Um, I don't know if it was every round, but I know we were close. And I mean, the car's just awesome right now, man. Jerry Bickle race cars, Pat Musi racing engines. Got Mark Menser been helping us on the uh, shock program and all. So it's just, it's a it's a great package right now. Everything's running good and we're just happy. Man. I got I got one hell, a heck of a crew here, man. So we're just, uh, that's two races down, two wins. And uh, we're just gonna keep, that's the goal every race. Awesome. Well, Tommy, look, congratulations. I like being able to talk to you and you being the owner because and some other sanctioning bodies, like I don't even know what the guy looks like, but here I do. So tell me, Darlington as an event, how did it go? What's your thoughts on it? Uh, what could be improved and how'd your crew do? Yeah, I, I tell you, man, I think you got to give hats off to our crew. They went out here and ran a great event. We're done winter circle at 10 o'clock. Those fans, fans stayed up there and watched it. It was action packed. I mean, I think it's a, it's a testament to what we do. Let's just be honest. There was a lot of people said a lot of bad things about why we were coming down here in the rain, but we had two beautiful days of weather. We got this race in here, and that's what it was all about. And you got to put that on that crew up there. They allow, they go out here, they run this thing, and they allow me to come out here and race my program and not have to babysit it. But that's just a testament to who they are. And like I said before, we've got the baddest racers in the world, and I'll put them against anybody. To come out here and win Pro Nitrous, that's a testament because I'm telling you, my competition is the stiffest group out here. So I love it. I love this. The employees here that, that uh, just work, Darlington Dragway, hats off to them for helping us get this thing in. I love it, man. We're a great group. We're moving up. Awesome, awesome. Yes, I mean, the, the PDRA crew does a stellar job. I've noticed that in my first two events being here. And also, man, look, the money was flowing in them stands. The bet was going on. People were having a good time down here at Darlington. All right, last question for you, Tommy. How does a guy with as many wins, championships, and been doing this for as long as you have celebrate these days? Man, I tell you what, I think it's easy because, like I said, the competition that we have, it's there's nothing out here to walk through a you know win. So when you beat the you know the guys that we've beat out here, it it's easy to celebrate. You know, it really is, and uh, that just speaks on the competition level of every class here. And I think I've said it before: top sportsmen, top dragster, the junior dragsters, all the pro classes. These are the best of the best, and if you're not seeing it, this is where you got to come and see it because they're the best. And I appreciate, it. hey man, Strutmasters coming out here, covering our race. Nothing better, man. That's what we need. We need people to see who we are, get out here. Gross is going to take this thing on up to the top. Folks, Tommy Franklin, the big chief of the PDRA, the winner in Pro Nitrous. here at the PDRA Carolina Showdown. John, talk to me about the day, getting through the heat, transition period, and well, winning a race. Well, it was just a good day. Uh, obviously, when you get the trophy at the end of the day, all the all the bad things that could have possibly happened, that erases them away, but uh, it's been a really good day. Uh, the teams worked real hard, and uh, we, we just we just kind of marched on as, as it went rounds, and it's been a good day for us. Definitely a good day, and a good points day. I mean, you had a, a good finish there at Galat, now you come to Darlington, you have another good finish. Points wise, you're setting yourself up pretty for a championship run. Yeah, well, I, I hate to talk about that. You know, it's early on, I don't want to jinx us or anything. But uh, yeah, so far we, you know, we were at the final last time, and I get away from the race away with a red light, but uh, that, that, that's okay. It, it still set us up by winning this one, taking us in a good position. Good, in a good position. Well, look, man. I know later on y'all gonna take some time and celebrate a guy who's going, you know, near 200 miles per hour in a door car. How y'all gonna celebrate? 
Uh, well, we're going just a little over 200, so that's even better. But uh, I don't know these guys. It, we're going to break down and get ready to go home and and uh, just, just get back home. And I don't, that's, that's going to be it. Let it soak in at home. Yep, Let it soak right. in at home, yes, which is a good place to be. Well, look, John, congratulations, folks, for strutmasters.com. I'm the Monday Morning Racer here at the Carolina Showdown. John Strickland, the winner in Pro Boots. And this man, J.R. Carr, he is the winner of Extreme Pro Stock. J.R., look, man, I would say this weekend can be defined as absolute dominance. <laughs> you know, I don't, we're just tickled. I mean, the brand new car from Rick Jones, Rick and Ricky, and, and that crew's been there for building cars for a long time. <laughs> same guys doing the same thing, and, and that car is just unbelievable. Frank's been with me for 10 years. Doing, you know, he's doing the motors and he's, he's done some power, uh, without a doubt. And of course, he calls the shots on the car. You know, not too many guys can build the motor, call the shots on the car, and drive. He's one hell of a driver. I'm hoping I end up half as good as him, and uh, I'd be doing something. So between them, him and the crew, Jason, Rich, and and Gary, they just—you don't have to worry about nothing. Just get in there and drive. And they almost made it look easy. It's not easy. It's not even easy to drive, but. It was easier when you have confidence and, and things were working well. So, man, look, you know, today in the race, you took out the points leader, and you also, you know, from the tower and in the stands, there was this aura that your car was flirting with the threes. How does it feel to be in a hot rod that's got that much power? It's it's awesome. I mean, I would have never believed we'd ran. You know, I knew we could run good, but the numbers we were putting down, I, hey, I'll be honest, I was. I, I almost didn't believe it, you know. It's uh, for for the air what it is and 130 degree track and go out and run a 405. That's yeah. pretty stout, yeah. You know, yeah. and and that's a testament to the car and the setup and you know you got to get down these hot tracks. That's yep. what we race on a lot. Right. And uh, it's. I mean, I'm I'm still I'm still having these people taking a breath from the winter circle or anything else. It's uh, it's a lot to soak in, and we're we are more than thankful and 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 humble to be where we're at. Awesome, awesome. Definitely some momentum turnaround from Galat to here, but about four weeks until go back racing with the PDRA. Do you wish it was next week? No, no, I knew. <laughs> I mean, yes and no. I mean, I have to travel from West Coast. Okay. So okay. I got, you know, it's a lot of work for us to get here and, okay. and a lot of organization, and uh, we're, we're just, we're, we're thankful for where we're at. Awesome. Folks, look, here at the Carolina Showdown, JR Carr is your. Extreme Pro Stock winner here at the PDRA. For strutmasters.com, I'm the Monday Morning Racer. Until next time, 